welcome we're going to build a Oracle Linux B but a new one so the minimal of budgie has been created so at this point in time everything is now created in the sense that we have possibility to build the Oracle Linux ISO which contains XFC Oak i3 or we choose to install a base installation which just not does not contain any desktop you just download scripts and decide what desktop to install. In Linux B ISO, it's a full ISO, 2. Point something gigabyte. So all the software is there, uh, Inkscape, GNOME, uh, sorry, Inkscape, uh, GIMP, etc. Three browsers and so on. And this is the minimal version. So you can actually learn if you compare these two guys, then you know what's needed. So the minimal version has just one browser, has no GIMP, no Inkscape but decides to install some particular desktop. So we have 11 desktops up here and we have 11 desktops down here. So this is the last one I had to create. That's the budgie minimal. There's going to be a new image once we installed everything and there's going to be a new video. This is this one, right? So basically it says here, go get your budgie minimal. That's the thing you need to do. So control C. Right mouse click, open a new window, go to your desktop, right mouse click, open terminal, control shift V, copy paste. And it's exactly a copy paste as well from the GitHub. So we get this folder. And if you want to install elements, more elements or delete elements, you just go and have a look for Firefox, for instance. Firefox will not be installed. Use the, this tip here to put it to Perl. Everything that's white is going to be installed. Firefox is not going to be installed, but now it is going to be installed if I save it, right? So that's the basic thing you need to figure out what elements, what Lego blocks do I want to have? Do I want to have a mail client? Yes, no. Do I want music player, dead beef? Yes, no, and so on. So you hashtag out anything or add type more and type more applications inside here, but be aware that you don't delete uh, the important stuff. So it's just talking about yeah, general user applications now. So once you've done that, you say, okay, this is what I want. You just start running a script. It's just not one script to remember. It's number 30 and all the rest is for our maintenance. Number 30 is actually going to check, are you on Arch Linux? Do you have the application we need and so on? And um, another video is going to the detail of what's inside here. So I leave that up to you to see that video. But basically, since uh, once you've given in your password, you can just walk away and go have a nice supper with your family. And when, you are, when you're coming back, you'll have an ISO. So let's wait for everything to finish here and um, come back when it's all created. So there we are, 1.8 gigabyte Arch Linux budgie is out. Now you need to know why the 1.8 gig is there. Um, budgie is, is a desktop environment, but not a complete. Google Arch Wiki budgie, and you'll see that they explicitly say to install GNOME with it. So actually it, we are having two desktop environments in here, GNOME and budgie. Do install it just without um, GNOME and see what you get and you'll agree that uh, without GNOME but you would be quite empty. So there you go, we have this, um, we have an out folder somewhere, article is B out and it contains a budget minimal. So this is what we've just created and now it's uh, time to make some uh, sneak preview and some nice images.